Hello guys, so today I would like to share to you about Knight and Injury Lawyer in Hassan TX. Workers in the maritime industry face some of the highest risk of being injured on the job compared to other fields of employment. Maritime law recognizes the hazards that seamen and maritime workers face. The law provides them with rights to seek extensive compensation and benefits when they are injured or develop on occupational illness due to the negligence of their employers or the owner-operator of the vessel. For more than 25 years, the health and maritime injury attorneys of the Lohan Law Firm have fought to secure maximum compensation for our clients who have been injured. We understand the difficulties that injured accident victims face when trying to get compensation from their corporations and their insurance company. That's why we take a small firm approach. We limit the number of cases we take on so that we can give you and your case the full attention and afford you deserve. We bring extensive knowledge and experience to every case we handle. Founding Anthony Michael S. Callahan has an engineering background and is board certified, certified in personal Injury trial law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. You can trust that we have the, ab the ability to handle even the most complex offshore accident injury claims. Maritime law is comprised of several different federal studies. That is, give people who are injured on the sea, vessels, or in maritime facilities the right to pursue compensation when their injuries are caused by negligence or employers or vessel facility owners and operators. Injuries on land. Injuries to maritime workers that occur at shore bass maritime facilities such as dry docks, cargo facilities, and ports are usually covered under the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act. Injuries in navigable waters Injuries to maritime workers that occur on the navigable waters of the United States are usually covered by the Jones Act. Injuries to workers on seabed facilities such as offshore drilling platforms are usually covered by statutory extensions to the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act. However, there are a number of expectations to these rules that depend on the type of vessel the maritime worker was on at the time he was injured. Injuries in the harbor. Depending on the exact circumstances of the accident and the injured worker, the Jones Act or the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act may apply. The Jones Act, formerly called the Merchant Marine Act of 1920, provides legal protection and benefits under admiralty laws to persons working as seamen aboard vessel who are injured due to unseaworthiness of a vessel or other acts of negligence that occur aboard a vessel in navigable water. The Jones Act was intended to ensure that maritime workers would cheat compensation when they suffered injuries or illnesses due to accidents or exposure on board the vessels on which they serve. However, unlike the workers' compensation claim under Texas law or the laws of other states, the Jones Act provides injured maritime workers with a much broader array of benefits. Traditional said workers' compensation laws provide injured or ill workers with medical care for their work-related injury or illness. Those workers get disability benefits for permanent injury and partial wage replacement if they miss time from work. The Jones Act gives injured maritime workers several other benefits, not all of which are available under state workers' compensation laws. Jones Act benefits can include medical care for work-related injuries and illness, living expenses during the period of recovery, lost wages, loss of future earning capacity due to permanent injuries and disabilities, and compensation for pain and suffering, physical impairment, and mental anguish. 
Our Jones are actually have handled many of these cases and our Jones are lawyers are ready to help you. The Jones are gets injured or ill Marathon will have the right to file a Marathon or Admiralty lawsuit to recover compensation and benefits for injuries and illnesses that arise when working aboard a vessel in navigable waters due to the negligence of the vessel's owner. Operator or another employee we honor our operator. Because the Jones Act requires special owners and operators to provide seaworthy vessel, the area effectively protects several important rights of maritime workers. The Longshoremen and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act LHWCA provides workers' compensation benefits to employees who work on loading, unloading, crafting, and repairing maritime vessels. Maritime workers covered by this statute include longshoremen, harbor workers, ship repairmen, and ship builder. The LHWCA also covers some workers aboard vessels in navigable waters. The LHWCA obligates employers to compensate employees whose work related injury or illness require medical treatment, causes damages work, or necessities vocational rehabilitation. The LHWCA also provides survivor benefits to the families of maritime workers killed on the job. Various federal status have further extended the, the scope of the LHWCA to other kinds of workers, including private employees working on military bases or other government property under contract, the, the government on offshore drilling workers on the outer continental shelf of the US. Government employees and workers who are otherwise covered by state workers' compensation laws are excluded from the scope of the LHWCA. Workers who directly aid in the mission of a seagoing vessel are instead covered by the Jones Act. If you are a worker covered by the LHWCA, you have the right to receive certain types of benefits for work related injury or illness, including Reasonable and necessary medical treatment, temporary partial wage replacement efforts to two thirds of your effort weekly wage while recovering from your injury or illness, and disability benefits, the amount of which depends on the scope of your disability and whether you have reached maximum medical improvement for your disability. And the last one is vocational rehabilitation. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching and bye bye.